Greetings, Internet, and welcome back to Fun Size, another Oxlimations presentation. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to be taking a look at yet another snack food. Now, for today's video, this is another one of those ones that was kind of a just spur of the moment thing. We were at the store, and, you know, just as we were walking up to the register, I saw one of their displays for a, um, a new flavor of a certain candy bar that we're all familiar with. At least, I think most of us are familiar with. So, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of the, well, or seen a lot of the new flavors Kit Kat has been putting out lately. I actually, as a matter of fact, did one not too long ago. If you look right here, I believe it was apple pie flavor. Throw the link up there for you. <clears throat> Along with a bunch of different flavors that they've just been, you know, throwing out there left and right, seeing what works and what doesn't. I happened to see one of the displays for their new pie flavored flavor. Uh, yes. <clears throat> so, for this particular video, yours truly is going to take this Kit Kat and I'm going to break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar and stick it in my mouth. And then I'm going to eat it and I'm going to tell you what I think about it. Also, by the way, not sponsored in any way, shape, or form by Kit Kat or whatever their parent company is, Hershey maybe? I, as a matter of fact, let me actually look into that real quick. Uh, yep, the Hershey company. I'm not sponsored by them in any way, shape, or form. So to cut with the chit chat and get right on to what the actual flavor is that I'm keeping so mysterious that you just got a slight little hint at, I'm going to be taking a bite of the new Key Lime Pie flavored Kit Kat. Doo -doo -doo. Limited time only, limited edition. So obviously y'all are expecting me to say a certain phrase, so for those calorie conscious like myself in the viewing audience in the peanut gallery out there, these have, if you didn't already see it when I was showing you the packaging, 220 calories per package. I wonder what that means per individual stick. One serving per container, serving size one package. Huh. I wonder if anyone has ever actually done the homework to figure out how many calories there are in one Kit Kat chunk. I mean, I suppose if you did the math, like, let's see, there's one, two, three, four in here, so 220 divided by four. Hold on a second. Whipping out the handy dandy cellular device and bringing up the app with the calculator in it. Okay, there we go. All right, so 220 calories divided by four sticks equals, okay, ladies and gentlemen, according to the quackulator, there are 55 calories per each individual stick. Oh wow, everything, the white balance completely got muffed on that one. I, I don't know if that's a bad word. I don't know if that's completely got messed up. There we go, completely got messed up. Mucked up. Regardless, it, it, it was very red in here for a moment. So anyway, now that we know exactly how many calories there are, per each individual stick. Let's, oh my gosh, they actually had to put how to open directions on these silly things. Right there beneath my finger. It says to open, lift flap, and tear at end. You don't say. And apparently these are best by April of 2022. Dang, that's a long shelf life. And I'm getting distracted again. Okay, let's, before I actually crack this open, let's take a nice look at the packaging itself. So on the one side, we've got the modern take on the classic Kit Kat logo, if I can get my fingers in the right place, over here. And then we have a, a nice photoshopped in image of a key lime pie, which actually looks pretty tasty. And then down here, over here by this finger, we have the Kit Kat stick cracked in half to show all that delicious 
nutritious food stuffs on the inside, the crispy wafers. And then of course we have these nice lime accents and decals. It looks like someone sliced a lime in half. And you just gotta love that lime green on the back. That is absolutely like what would happen if you skinned Bucky O'Hare and used his fur-covered flesh to make a candy wrapper. I don't know where I was going with that, I just saw that he was green and I was like, I can make this work, and it died. it went over like a light balloon. I hope someone laughed at that. Okay, so with that out of the way, and I've already gone over the packaging, and uh, yeah, let's... Let's crack this bad boy open and let's get a look at what the actual product looks like. Ooh. It has a very nice, it actually smells like a lime, a key lime pie with a graham cracker crust. Yeah, because you get that initial whiff of that tangy, sweet key lime flavor, a key lime smell, aroma. And then just immediately after that, it's like, pow! A little bit of that, that graham cracker flavor, like you... Graham cracker scent, like you just opened up a pack of graham crackers. And so y'all can get a look at the actual coloration of this thing. Feast your eyes on that piece of wonderful right there. Now for this particular video, I'm, I'm not going to go eating the whole thing in one sitting because this isn't a mukbang. You're not here to watch me just stuff my face with food. You're here to get my impressions, and you're here to see what I think about this food and whether or not you should get it or not. So I'm just going to take one stick. There we are. I'm going to put the rest over here for the moment. All right, so unlike the apple pie Kit Kat flavor review that I did a while back, I've only got this one flavor to review, so I'm not going to be like mixing up the flavors like several different ones, and I don't have like a pack of regular Kit Kat to compare it to. I've just got this. So now I'm going to crack it in half, and we'll see if the cross section looks anything like it did on the packaging. Okay, decided to break over there. Let's get a good close look at that, if it'll focus, which it doesn't seem like it wants to focus darn it but yeah it kind of looks like the packaging all right now the smaller end over the lips and through the gums look out stomach here it comes to your health everyone mm -hmm. that to paraphrase on one Samuel L. Jackson that is a tasty Kit Kat. Mm, that's <clears throat> actually really good. I'm gonna. It's so good. I'm just gonna finish the rest of this stick right now. Okay. So that legitimately tastes like I just took a took a bite of a slice of key lime pie on a graham cracker crust, as I alluded to at the beginning. The one thing that kind of saddens me is it doesn't quite have like a, like a hint of whipped cream or something in it. Because that would be the thing to top this off. Pun unintended? Regardless, I think that is a really tasty candy bar. And on a scale, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being bad, 10 being I'm definitely getting this again if I can find it, the limited edition Kit Kat Key Lime Pie flavored candy, that gets an 8 from me. That is a solid 8 right there. On the whole, I'm gonna say I like it better than regular Kit Kat, which is actually saying something because I'm actually quite a big fond fan of big fond 
I'm actually quite a fan. I'm actually quite fond of, quite a big fan of, there we go, of the Kit Kats. Not quite as much as Reese's Cups, again, not sponsored. But if they could come out with a chocolate peanut butter Kit Kat, although technically they, that's already been done. That That is essentially the recipe for a Nutty Buddy bar from Little Debbie, also not sponsored. All oh, those things are so good. Um, I'm getting off topic here. Um, yeah, I would have to say that gets a solid 8 from me. The packaging... Let's take another look at that packaging, now that's been basically destroyed. It's upside down. Whoop, there we go. The packaging I will rate on that same 1 to 10 scale. Sorry if you're hearing a little bit of a, a whine just now. I bumped into the mouse for my laptop, which I didn't realize was still on. And I just activated my laptop, so I've, which is right in front of the camera. So I've just got to open this real quick and have the uh, facial recognition thing recognize me so it'll stop whining like that. There we go. Now I can close that back down. After you've all been sufficiently blinded by that shiny metal going Aah. okay <clears throat> so getting back to the candy at hand uh, for the packaging itself I'm going to give it a, a similar 1 to 10 scale one being you know very unimaginative they just recycled that from something else 10 being that is fantastic whoever designed that packaging needs to get a raise and I'm going to give this packaging, on the whole, a 5. Because, I mean, I will admit there's not a whole lot that can be done with, you know, Kit Kat packaging. But they actually tried. They kind of went in a different direction with this. They gave you the, you know, the picture of the key lime pie, which is the product that they're trying to say it tastes like. And that gets, or that comes across very clearly. The package is that nice, lovely, shiny lime green, which, if any of you didn't know, I am quite the fan of the color green. I have, I have a great many things that are the color green. So yeah, on one hand, the candy bar itself gets an 8, on the other hand, the packaging gets a 5, so the Kit Kat Key Lime Pie flavored limited edition candies get a 13 from me out of a total score like perfect numbers total score of 20 that gets a 13 so with that said ladies and gentlemen there's not really much more i can say about this uh, it's a good candy bar if you can get your hands on one while they're still on shelves for the time being then by all means go out there and get one if you're a fan of key lime pie, that is, then you will enjoy it. Also, if you're just a fan of, like, lime-flavored stuff, boom, you'll love it. I think. Unless you're, like, one of those people who's, like, obsessed with the really sour lime-flavored stuff, or sour lemon, you know, c sour citrus-flavored stuff. Then you might not get what you're looking for, because this, this has a lot more of a sweet thing to it. But the more I've been talking after having eaten that... I can definitely get that to kind of a citric, soury aftertaste, which is not a bad thing by any stretch of the imagination. It's, it's kind of like I just took a sip of limeade, <clears throat> which is pleasant in and of itself. But again, um, yeah, getting back to what I was saying, when it comes to the limited edition key lime pie flavored Kit Kat, if you can find them before time runs out, before their limited edition run ends, then by all means, go ahead and go and get yourself a pack of these things. They're inexpensive, like most Kit Kat bars are. I think, I think that was either a dollar or just a little bit above a dollar. But yeah, solid 13 out of 20. I would give that three stars. Just like right in the middle, but no, no, no. Uh, we'll give it three and a half stars. I don't want to give it five stars right off the bat. So we're going to go with a 13 out of 20 for the score. 
Eight going over to the actual flavor and the candy itself. Five going over to the packaging and the creativity of the design of it. And then three and a half stars out of five. With all that said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for coming back and watching another of my videos. I do truly and greatly appreciate it. If you like what you've seen here today, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the little bell icon to be notified of future uploads once you are subscribed. Feel free to share this with your friends. If you think they'll like them, or if you're not sure, then by all means share it with them anyway. You can be surprised. And with all of that hullabaloo out of the way, this is your old buddy Oxlimation saying, Cowabunga, and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Later.